Welcome back, my beautiful loves. Welcome, welcome, welcome. We are going to do a reading today. I feel on a divine masculine. I have cleared the energy and the cards and let's get to it. You guys want to work with me? Readings are only available this year. I'm starting ayahuasca ceremonies next year in South America. So, yeah, I don't know how this is changing. So if you wanted a reading from me, this is the year to do it, guys, because with the ceremonies and things like that, I'll probably be moving more into coaching, membership, helping people integrate after ceremonies, working more through their shadows, because that's what I do. Take a look at my website. Take a look at what I do. I'm not just a reader. I'm a prophetess, shaman, all those, whatever label. Um, I change you. I can tap into people's visions. I can see your vision. I can see your Akashic, all of that. So, hence the High Priestess card came up for me. So, let's clear, Spirit. This is for the collective. This is for those that are here looking at what is going on in their Twin Flame Sacred Journey. Remember, guys, this is about balancing your energies. Very important. Yin Yang balance. Very important on the inside, yo. Okay? Can't, uh,. Can't deny who your person is. You're not going to be able to get away from this. That's why you book me. <laughs> okay, so that's all I'm saying. Can't get away. The telepathy, the dreams, the bodily feelings, the, the dream, all of that. All right, let's see. I'm just picking up on a masculine today, guys. Don't forget to like, subscribe, okay? Especially if you're new, welcome. So let's get to it. I'm just picking up on a masculine that's like recognizing their masculine power. They may have always thought they were in a, in a strong masculine power, but they weren't, okay? So I'm seeing that they're starting to realize that they created all this shit. They created all of this. They're sitting in their, in their, basically they're sitting in their shit. So let's take a look. What is this energy that I'm feeling, spirit? Here we go. I'm not ready for what you have to offer. <laughs> yeah. See, this masculine is sitting here going, I ain't ready. I let you walk away. And that's because... I couldn't control the situation, right? Here we go. Third party knows about you. I could control this third party, but I can't control you. That's what it's all about, yo. This masculine had somewhat of some kind of like low self-esteem. I don't know what I want here. I don't know what deck I'm getting pulled to. Let's see. I'm getting pulled to this one down here. Let's go. All right. This person reluctantly watched you walk away all right knowing that the third party was maybe you know could bring them abundance could bring them their monetary wealth bring them whatever they wanted but now this masculine is realizing i gotta move on to the calmer waters this distance is now actually killing me i have to actually end a cycle with this karmic wheel can you wait on me well you know <clears throat> i don't tell anybody to wait you got to go how God guides you guys. I mean, if the universe is, you know, waking you up to move on, then move on. Now, this person may feel that you got somebody else because I'm feeling a lot of new energies for divine feminine that are coming in. So let's take a look here because um, this masculine is realizing his manifestation abilities. He may not have realized, he may have had some inkling of a law of attraction and karma and how to attract what he wants. He may have been able to tap into a certain aspect of it, but he hasn't been able to fully surrendered to the process is what I'm hearing and now he's like did I create all of this there we go he's woken up guys okay there's the breach and I did see wake up call earlier when I was shuffling this so here's the emergence he's coming out of something here he's waking up to a rebirth here okay to a completion his perspectives are changing now, but what's really bringing him harmony and power into his life? It's a peace and a, and a peace and a power. See, this is what I was talking about. If you guys want to look at like my psychic attacks and dark works, I know how dark energy works. Trust me, okay? Um, been through it all, guys. I feel things most people can't heal in one lifetime, okay? I feel multiple lifetimes in this lifetime. There's like power here, right? With peace and harmony. This is what I talk about. You know it's God with no matter what energies are running on the surface layer of your consciousness. Underneath that is peace. Underneath that is authenticity. Underneath that is integrity. It's a layered effect. If you don't, got that, you don't have that peace, you don't have that power. And this mask is starting to realize I ain't got no power if I ain't got that peace. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? All right. 
I'm getting pulled to, I was getting pulled to my angel, this angel deck, but I'm feeling pulled to the necromancy deck, which I didn't shuffle, so bear with me. Let's take a look. The necromancy talks about the dark things with his masculine, so let's take a look. So this masculine's woken up out of his emotions. He's dealing with his emotions. He's seen the bigger picture. He's had a huge awakening here. He's like, how am I creating my world? He's taking responsibility. Oh, that's what I'm hearing. He's finally taking responsibility and saying, am I doing this? Am I the problem? Here we go. The chariot moving through this, guys. Balance, obstacles, things coming up very quickly in this masculine to prove himself righteous is what I'm hearing. Justice in reverse out of this karmic wheel. Repetitive cycles injustices over and over he's like what's not fair it's not fair it's almost like the little boy is growing out of him he's like yeah knight of wands this playboy energy ending a um anything traditional having a lot of fire behind it though of ending as something stable that he's been back and forth about for for quite some time what i'm getting is that he's he's just driving now guys he's just moving he's like he may not be moving on the outside. I'm hearing he's moving on the inside. Spirit has really lit a fire under this masculine and has shown him how he, he, this masculine thinks too quick. A little immature in his energy, okay? He moves very quick. He gets on that horse. He takes off, you know, not thinking about the road ahead, not thinking about the obstacles or if that road is even paved. You know what I'm saying? So he's trying to, now he's realizing, oh my God, I got to come rushing into my feminine now. I think he's feeling that, but he can't, he feels like such a failure though, right? Six of wands. He's like, is this going to fail if I just come in? Hmm. Definitely wants to work and create. But see, this masculine has some shady stuff still happening in his life. He's not creating so out of integrity. He's a start, starting to realize that on that blank canvas, whatever he was creating and manifesting was from darkness. And now he can't do this darkness anymore. He can't sit there he's telling this demon to stay back now he's like i'm trying to draw you but it's like he's made peace with it right so he's made peace with some kind of darkness here and what he was creating and he's starting to recognize what he is manifesting in his life he doesn't like what he's manifesting you guys he doesn't like how his life was going and and now he's actually taking responsibility he's like how did i do this to my sacred connection okay um I was childish, I was playboyish, I was player, I was whatever it is, I was greedy, I was narcissistic, I was all these things. So no wonder I I, I got with somebody who was, because he's with, I feel this person's with a third party, I got with somebody who I could control. This masculine has massive control issues. So I kind of feel bad for this karmic person, whoever he's with, because he's, he's also, he picked this person because they were a doormat. They said yes to whatever this masculine wanted. This masculine knew that the Divine Feminine was not going to be having it. This this masculine was afraid of this Divine Feminine, right? So he, he got to her first is what I'm hearing. Here we go. Twin Flame right on the bottom of the deck. We have new direction and all the lies and the signs of his lies. So now all of these things, he created a found, false foundation out of lies and it's fallen the hell apart now. Now he's realizing... That his twin flame, ha, 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 here we go, guys. Can, baby, I'm sorry. Can I come back? I want to ascend with you. I want to reinvent myself. I'm putting an end to all of these cycles here. I, I have free will. You know, I'm making this choice. I want our tribe. I've been in such a dark place without you, baby. I want a family. I've been doing my work alone. I want you to say yes to this. He may bring a material offer to you, okay? But what I'm getting here, you guys, is he's just too, but he's too quick coming into the Divine Feminine too. Some of you may just be like, whoa, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> like, all I wanted was some kind of recognition or some kind of like conversation or some kind of like, you know, deep introspection with you. But now you're coming over here with like some ring or you're like saying, let's get married and do this shit. And Divine Feminine's like... Who, and it doesn't matter how long this has been, guys, this masculine, he, he's had some awakening. He's pulling, I feel he might be pulling back. Just give me a sec. Some of them are pulling back because they're like, I can't just go rushing into this. Tell me about this masculine rushing in with this new direction. You see, he's lost everything in his life. 
money and he's working hard for the cash now yo he's hit rock bottom if you want to call it rock bottom okay he's working hard for this money i will call it for my money do 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 what is that song guys it's an old song remember that i don't know the lyrics comment down below what are the lyrics I forget the lyrics. Okay, so what has he lost then? What has woken up this masculine to to rushing in and all of this now? Hanging on to things that he knew he had to let go of. Hanging on to the money, people. Hanging on um, nine of cups. Hanging on to something he didn't even want. Here we go. It comes out with the two of cups. Hanging on to third party relationship. Being closed off in a relationship. Not wanting to be there. All because of the money. Tell me about the money. Money, money, money. Money. This loss of his money had to happen. This, listen, this masculine has lost money. Or he's lost some kind of stature in his community. Because he has to balance. He's been in a power struggle for quite some time, guys. He's sitting here in contemplation. I don't see action. There's not a lot of wands. The chariot is here, okay, but I'm not seeing, I mean, the only thing he feels like, he, he feels like a damn failure here. We have a lot of pentacle energy. So he's starting to realize his power struggles in the 3D. He's starting to realize that this karmic wheel is turning now, okay? He's starting to see that he was sitting here, hanging on to this book of magic, hanging on to old belief systems. I feel some of them are really religious, okay? So, you know, divine feminine um, just seems more like a witch or anything, but hanging on to old belief systems for whatever else, what the family thinks, okay, the magic, the whatever else, and um, realizing that if they're going to move forward, all of these lies that they've told, tell me about these lies, what lies did they say? Tell me about these lies. Five of swords cause so many conflicts because now they're sitting in a connection they don't even want, guys. Tell me, it's Queen of Swords. And this person is asking them, what is wrong with you? This masculine is losing control of his feelings. People are starting to notice it, you guys. Now, this third party, whoever the third party is, could be a co-worker, could be a lover, could be whatever, is now like, dude, what is wrong with you? Like your head, like your head is all over the place. See, the head's cut off there. What is this person in their life is noticing and people around them are noticing that they don't want this relationship. Six, they don't want to move forward. Why don't you want to move forward with this now? People are asking, you were fine with it like a month ago. You were okay with it last week. Something slow is moving. It's moving too slow for this masculine. Because it's an illusion. I think they're coming into some kind of awareness that this is an illusion. Mm, manipulation. They are realizing that they're facing some form of manipulation. Some kind of addiction, some kind of codependency in this connection that they actually have to end. They're realizing that they've been like way too slow in, um, yeah, some of the wants that they have to let their guard down and start taking those first steps to really start looking at different options in their life, what their dreams are, what they want, right? That it's that they've been trying to manipulate the community and the people around them. See, this masculine stays quiet is what i'm getting this is why this breach is here okay this is why they look down when they saw the divine feminine walking away here sorry the light is in the way you know because they're shameful there's a lot of shame here because they knew what they were doing they thought that they could manifest the way that they always did then they real then they got all victim butt hurt about stuff and then realized wait a minute maybe the toxicity is in me and now with this new awakening, they're like, holy shit, I need to go towards my feminine because they've had some kind of awakening here about money and what they've lost. See, certain things had to be taken away from this masculine, the 3D world to realize that they were staying in a situation that they didn't want, right? Now they're like, do I sit here in these connections, in these false connections, right? Do I sit here? And do I continue living this way? Let's see how this masculine is doing with that. 
How are they doing with what they've created, Spirit, in their community? Now everybody is like, what are you talking about? You did all of this. You built the business with this, this other person or you created this lifestyle. You did all of this. What are you talking about? You don't want this anymore. What are you talking about that it's toxic? People are wanting clarity from this mask gun. He's just sitting there like, I don't know what I can do anymore. He's saying, no, I don't want this. He's like, no. 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 Oh. He's saying, no, I don't want my other half. Tell me about this. Oh, he wants to work things out. So he's lying still to people around him. He's like, no, I don't want that. I just want to be alone. Just give me a sec, guys. There's two different stories coming in here. Taking a leap of faith. I wish I could be with you day and night. There's this twin right again, okay? So this masculine, what is he saying no about? Because I'm getting two stories. Some of them are saying and lying to people in their community, lying to people in their life, saying, no, I don't want that person. But in the meantime, they're going to be texting you saying, can we talk about this? Okay, so just realize that they may need a safety net. They're still using their current world as a safety net. They're still using it as you know before they take this leap of faith because they're not happy in a relationship they're ready to move forward and they've taken maybe some very minor steps that can set them forward to come towards their divine feminine for others they're saying no to people in their life and they're like no i'm moving towards my other half he's in despair tell me more about this see he's waiting that's the energy that I'm picking up. He's waiting. He's sitting here at the window, waiting, expecting, maybe expecting the divine feminine to come in, but nothing is happening here. Maybe expecting a lot more, but, oh my God, this masculine feels like, see, I feel this, <laughs> oh my God, the way this masculine has lived his life, okay, is that he could just put a little bit out there and things just flock to him, but this is not happening with his divine feminine. Nothing is going right in how he's created before. And he's he's really frustrated because he's like, do I actually have to do something more? Have I actually created this turmoil to like level up in my creative abilities? See, this is why he's staying still. Here's the sun. He's becoming very awakened to how he's manifesting. So he's waiting, okay? He's telling people, no, I'm not going towards, I'm not going towards the divine feminine. No, I'm not doing that. I don't want her because he needs a break from all this hostility. It's like, it's like he's thirsty. He's going on a vision quest. So before he can come forward and, with his vulnerability. So for a lot of them, they're like, nah, I don't want this divine feminine. I don't care if they're my other half, but really on the inside, they're really feeling it. So if you've been feeling a shift divine feminine, that a message is coming or communication is coming. This is what's happening with this masculine. He, some of them may not end off their old patterns before they come towards you because they need the safety net. They haven't evolved yet, okay, into their connection with the creator fully and having faith and trusting the divine because they're really head over heart most of the time, okay? Tell me about this despair about them saying no. They're also in despair by saying no to their counterpart. Now they're just like, I don't even give a shit about this community. I want my Ten of Cups. They want to work this out. So now they're saying no to things that are blocking. That's for some of you too, okay? But they're staying, they're staying quiet, okay? They're waiting. Why are they waiting? Like Five of Wands, because they're fighting. They're fighting for their soul, you guys. This masculine is fighting for his light, for his awakening, for what he needs to change in his life. We have the Knight of Cups here. He wants the balance. He wants to apologize. He wants to love himself. Okay, we have the Seven of Swords in reverse. I wish I could be with you. He wants to be very honest with the Divine Feminine here. But he's not coming forward yet. I think this has been coming through quite a bit. Nine of Wands in reverse. See, he's not ready to persevere with this yet. He's still organizing how people see him in his life with this Three of Cups. He's still having an identity crisis because he's made himself look a certain way his whole life, you know? And now people are like, what are you talking about? This isn't even you. We know you better than you. And now this mask was trying to fight. Like he, 
I'm surprised I haven't seen the Emperor in reverse yet because I feel like he's literally losing control of his situation. He picked lower consciousness people so he can control it, but now they're all ganging up on him and he's lost control of the situation. Six of Cups. Yes, look what I'm saying. The Tower. The Tower with the Six of Cups because of the past. The past is returning in his vibration. Like, it's like boom, 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 boom. Let's go back to my room so we can do it all night and you can make me feel right. Whoa. This masculine is definitely lit up. This looks like a phallic. <laughs> I mean, like getting ready to shoot out of the top of the tower there. This masculine is um, feeling a lot of energies at this time, guys. Okay. Like a lot of energies at this time and is starting to awaken to what's happened in the past he's able to look back what he's created what he has to actually stand up and fight for his life god is saying to this masking do you want to know me because you have to fight for your soul in this situation okay could be a drug addiction could be an alcohol addiction but it could be the people that he's hanging around with this community is like what is why have you changed tell me about this three cups yeah he's taking a break from the people around him He's got too much despair. He's really going inside. This is why he can't come forward. He's got so many energies coming at him that he needs to gather himself before he can actually gain the courage to speak to this divine feminine. So he's taking a break in his own understanding and his own illumination. And people are like, what is going on with this guy? See, he needs time to think. But this is the problem with this mask. He's always head over heart. Head over heart, head over heart. What's going to make me happy? What do I want in my life? And spirit is like, we're trying to get this mask on to just do it like Nike. Just friggin' do it, right? You've been out to sea for a long time. All you're doing is fantasizing about this connection. This mask one doesn't even realize that how they're fantasizing about this connection is actually manifesting it. Not being able to stop thinking about the divine feminine. Do we not have thoughts out here? I thought I saw the thought card. Maybe it'll come out. Um, they want to look at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, see this fork of the road? He's been stuck for quite some time about creating a new life. He knew that this life of the Divine Feminine, he wasn't ready for this new life. He thought that he could manifest and control things exactly how he's done before. But now the truth is coming out. Now he's realizing who his feminine is, and now he wants to fix the damn bridge. He wants to fix the union. He wants to come together because he knows this is a blessed connection, okay? So, yeah, he's ready to go on this journey here. So he's trying to figure out how do I explain my new self? Because people think I'm crazy. People think that I've lost my shit, that I've lost my mind. Yeah, everyone thinks I'm in a bad place, but yeah. <laughs> to the outside in his community, he's been out to lunch, guys. They're like, what is wrong with this guy? Something's wrong with him. Maybe we should lock him up. I think that he looked literally crazy with these new frequencies coming in that people are getting really worried about this masculine. They're like, you just need to heal. He's like, no, you don't understand. You don't understand what's going on with me. Look at this. This is the false person trying to get this masculine to marry them. Look, we've been courting for a while. Let's get married. But here's the divine family. It's a fight between the two. Could have children involved. This karmic is like, but we have a house. Like, what are you doing? This is not a high honor. Like, th they're messaging back and forth. It's like, we're going to lose everything if you do this. Oh, you guys. People think this masculine's really lost his shit. That's what I'm saying. This is why he's like sitting in a thing that he doesn't really care about. He's like, I need to talk to my divine feminine. Maybe I can move forward. Maybe she can help me move forward. You know, can we just figure this out? I don't think he has the strength to do this on his own. I didn't see the strength in reverse, but there's a lot of lies from the past that are coming up here. He's impatient to persevere. Exactly. See, he's impatient to get this going, but he's very insecure because he doesn't know how his feminine feels. Tell me about the divine feminine. He knows that the divine feminine was created for him. So why is he so insecure? He's trying to follow his instincts here. Okay. Everyone thinks he's insane. Tell me about that. Everyone thinks his masculine needs to be locked away is what I'm hearing. Like he needs psychological help. He needs to go to the hospital. Like maybe he, maybe he, I don't know. There's something going on here that they're like, there's something wrong with him. He needs to release. See, this masculine is realizing I look crazy then because I'm woke. 
Tell me about that he's woke with the sun. He's awakened. He's hit a new vibration. He's woke to his soulmate. Everybody's like, and it's perfect, right? Now everybody's like, now he's trying to end things because he's gained wisdom and faith. Everybody's like seeing the balance that he wants to serve and he's accepting a certain path, okay? But everybody's like despondent in his joy. Yeah, they can't share his joy because they're, they're lower class people, guys. They're lower frequency, okay? So he's isolated now. He's like, I no one shares my joy. No one's happy for my awakening. The only one that would be uh, happy for my awakening is my divine feminine. There's nobody happy here for me. Everyone's complacent. Everyone's like, I'm confused. But I see the, the light in the dark. See how this flame shines in the dark. So everything... He's rejecting, dissipating because he's realized I'm actually, I've actually grown into a certain point of enlightenment. These people are not my people. And I worked hard for this. So he's getting out of the victim. He's recovering from the victim mentality. He's following the mysticism. Okay. He knows it's going to be bittersweet, but he's realizing that he was going in abundance the wrong way from his ego. Now he's going to be able to manifest a renewal out of the facade. And this is where he's been having a really hard time. Now people are gossiping about him. Like, what did he discover? What's wrong with him? He's crazy. See, their perceptions have changed about this masculine. What they used to think was that he was a good guy. Now they're like, he's insane. He's crazy. Well... Listen, when we drink ayahuasca and I remember looking at the Maloka and guys, I'm going to be running my own ceremonies. I'm doing my shaman path. Um, I'm getting, I'm building my center. I'm going to be able to run in South America next year. I'm telling you, when people drink and I looked and I observed it from a different perspective. I'm like, yeah, people would think we're absolutely crazy <laughs> drinking in this Maloka. Some people throwing up, some people dancing, some people singing, some people, you know, it looks, it looks crazy. But this is how this masculine looks to the people around him. Like he, like he's crazy. You know, you see people talking to people on the street. They're like, they're crazy. Look at this. This masculine, like, I know who my twin flame is. But every, what are, what are these, what are people saying in this masculine's life? What are they saying? They're saying you have responsibilities in the material world. This is not a thing. This is not possible. See, people get very jealous about twin flames. People want the twin flame, but they can't do the work. You got to go through dark ass shit to get to this point. Let me tell you. Exactly. They're like, you're toxic. You just need to heal. This is what people keep telling this masculine in their world. You just need to heal. Your head's not good. But he, I feel this masculine. Look at this. Has been feeling this his whole life because of abandonment issues. He's always abandoned by people in his life because they don't get his frequency he's a star seed he wants union so he's leaving it behind because he's done with receiving any of this karma it's just blocking him up he's refocusing now here right about what commitment means to him he's realizing i've been married to my divine feminine this entire time like what i'm actually married like sorry about it so let's see the next test <laughs> He, this mask going to listen, he's realizing he's coming into divine power, how he's supposed to be um, manifesting in a different way, how he has to be doing it from connection to the highest source of the sun, God, okay, father, creator energy, which is here. Um, let's take a look. What is the next steps for this masculine here? He's getting very disciplined about how to keep his connection, how to keep his connection to God source. Okay. How he is being patient with realizing that he can't lose his feminine. He's got to deal with these karmic people in his life. Tell me about the people in his life. What is he doing with the people in his life? Where is his action? He's growing. He's outgrown them, guys. He's outgrown them. He's starting to realize, okay, that he has to be of service or he's not happy. He has to serve with his divine feminine. He has a mission. He wants to make the world a better place. He wants to, and there's a horn honking outside. So I don't know. That means something, guys. Could be showing up at your house for some of y'all, okay? Um, he's like, that's it. I'm going to get disciplined in myself. I'm going to grow. I'm going to serve. I need to serve. I need to figure out how to make the world a better place. Um, he's getting really honest with themselves about who he's blaming. That's what I was feeling. He's taking responsibility for himself and saying, look, the only one that can manifest anything is me. I'm a divine masculine. I have these higher codes. I have not been creating a way that I should be creating. And he's coming into this now, guys. 
okay? He's realizing that he's been a child. They're showing me the child card here. What's the card underneath? Happiness, okay? He's in a childlike happiness. Tell me about this. He's tapped back into his self-esteem, who he was as a child. He's realizing the exuberance of his dreams that happened when he was a child, okay? Why he felt like a failure as a child. Now he's finding it kind of funny. He's like, oh my God, this is hilarious. I used to feel this way all the time as a kid. Is this what my divine feminine brought out in me? Spirit's like, yes, the divine feminine is showing you that you are ascending. Forgive, forgive. The divine feminine has shown this masculine just in her energy alone how to be patient with people. See, this masculine had to be patient with certain soulmate connections in his life instead of running, okay? This masculine may have been running, 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 but realizing now that it was an addiction, that he has been numbing this whole time, and that he had to figure out what was going on in his current life, how he was manifesting and being patient. See, inner child here wanted to come out, that he had to heal to tap back into the higher realms, okay? And this is from the past. This is what Divine Feminine brought forward. Wow, guys. Wow, wow, wow. Let's get some final messages here. You guys want to work with me? Sounds like your story. Go hit me up. Book a session. I would love to work with you. If, especially if this vibrated. We will speak face-to-face. -face. Ask as many questions as you want, guys. People change when they work with me. So be aware. If you're booking coaching, we go deep. All right, I can see your stuff. Gratitude. This masculine is in gratitude for everything right now. He's realizing how big, see, courage, how big, stillness, again, how big this connection is. How he has the courage to build up now that there's no limitations on what he can create with his divine feminine because it's real love. He's ready to make a choice and release and surrender the old here, okay, because he's a free spirit. So this masculine is tapped back into otherworldly energies that it doesn't matter. He can be free in a committed relationship with this twin. That's how twins are. That's why separation happens, right? That you can still feel each other and still be free in how you want to be. It's not going to follow really old relationship rules and dogmas, right? It's going to be completely different. And he's starting to recognize that. Get some love messages here, guys. I have some readings today, so I wanted to just, I didn't want this to linger too long. So let's see. You, my beloved, are like a ray of golden sunshine. I breathe in your love and all my concerns melt away. And all that is left is pure joy. Thank you, my beloved soulmate. Beautiful. Dwelling on the past and future keeps me from experiencing the power of now. I make a conscious choice to be present. I accept love now. I am grateful for your love. Yeah, this is what's waking this masculine up. <laughs> that he can't think about the future. This is why he's pulled back. He's recognizing how he's manifesting. He's recognizing, you know, who he actually loves in his present moment. And every day it's his feminine. It's nobody else, right? You are an angel of light. Before you, I surrender past and future. All that matters is this moment. My heart is transformed every time you are near. He's realizing that this connection is beyond. And he's really looking like past and future. This masculine is really trying to stay present. He may be reading Eckhart Tolle. You may want to read that. Um, I read it years ago when Eckhart Tolle was just coming out. Like 10 years, 15 years. I don't know. Long time ago. Um, Stillness Speaks, I think it is. Maybe reading that book or a new earth is what I'm getting. What is going on here? What are the messages with this mask and like to say? I want to get one more. Okay. They want me to take the bottom as well. All right. A great love life requires intimacy, trust, and the ability to share your feelings. Express your doubts and fears, your likes and dislikes. Talk openly, listen, be present, always with an open heart and mind. This masculine is contemplating how he hasn't done this with this feminine. He's recognizing, I need to share feelings. I need to be vulnerable. I need to be open. Um, and I feel that's why he's pulled back and why he is feeling very alone in his life. And people think he's gone crazy, right? Because of this illumination. He's trying to gather up this energy let us be the love we seek let us be the change we wish to see 
Let us give freely to one another without condition, for it is in giving that we receive. Wow. This muscle is definitely looking at giving. And we have here, trust in the healing power of love, for it is only through love that happiness is possible. Observe all that transpires, but don't get emotionally attached. The storm will clear. You can be of assistance to the one you love only if you remain positive. I feel this masculine is really trying to shift up his energy. He's trying to alchemize himself. He's trying to come into um, a better place with spirit and having God guide him and move forward into his life and what he wants to create. And I feel like he's gathering this energy so that he can release, make a choice and move towards the divine feminine. That was your reading. Don't forget to like, subscribe. I'll see you guys soon. So much love. Would love to hear what you thought of this reading and we'll see you soon. Bye.